Last month, I've gone from where is he to here he is again. But I must confess, it feels good to be thought of as a person, not as a personality. I don't read all the things written about me. I wasn't aware that the world thought I was so weird and bizarre. But when you grow up as I did in front of 100 million people since the age of five, you're automatically different. The last few weeks, I have been cleansing myself and it's been a rebirth for myself. It's like a cleansing spirit. My childhood was completely taken away from me. There was no Christmas. There was no birthdays. It was not a normal childhood. No normal pleasures of childhood. Those were exchanged for hard work, struggle and pain. And eventual material and professional success. But as an awful price, I cannot recreate that part of my life nor would I change any part of my life. However, today, when I create my music, I feel like an instrument of nature. I wonder what delight nature must feel when we open our hearts and express our God-given talents. The sound of approval rolls across the universe and the whole world abounds in magic. Wonder fills our hearts for what we have glimpsed for an instant, the playfulness of life. And that's why I love children and learn so much from being around them. I realize that many of our world's problems today, from the inner city crime to large scale wars and terrorism and our overcrowded prisons are a result of the fact that children have had their childhood stolen from them. The magic, the wonder, the mystery and the innocence of a child's heart are the seeds of creativity that will heal the world. What we need to learn from children isn't childish, being with them connects us to the deeper wisdom of life, which is ever present and only asked to be lived. They know the way to solutions that lie waiting to be recognized within our own hearts. Today I would like to thank all the children of the world, including, including the sick and deprived. I am so sensitive to your pain. I think what they get from me, I get from them. I told, I've said it many times, my greatest inspiration comes from kids. Every song I write, every dance I do, all the poetry I write, is all inspired from that level of innocence, that consciousness of purity. And children have that. I see God in the face of children. And um, man, uh, I just love being around that, that all the time. Oh boy, I think um, to give in the best way I can, through song, and through dance, and through music. I mean, I am committed to my art. I believe that all art has as its ultimate goal the union between the material and the spiritual, the human and the divine. I believe that to be the reason for the very existence of art. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel I was chosen as an instrument to uh, just give music and love and harmony to the world. Who among us would have believed that the sound of children at their playgrounds would be replaced by the sound of automatic machine gun fire at our schools. That the sound of little girls skipping rope would be overshadowed by the frantic thrills of children dodging bullets. Yet, instead of loving our children more, we installed metal detectors in our school.